I'm going to see if I can revise the Zoom settings so that we can all see each other. Okay, sounds good. But thank you so much for joining. Have you uh, tried breath work before? No, I haven't. Uh, yeah, so I'm looking forward to this. Really looking forward to this. I, I've had asthma in the past. Uh, since I've had asthma since I was 20, since 1969. And how does <laughs> yeah. that affect you? Uh, well, um, oh. I don't have asthma anymore, Hi. but I do have bronchiectasis. So I take the, uh, unfortunately, the steroid inhaler twice a day, the lowest dose, 80 milligrams. And uh, it, interestingly that, you know, I'm starting with you now because uh, just a cup, just a week or two ago. Are you there? Yes. Can you hear me? Okay. Yes. Yeah. Just a week or two ago, um, I was uh, <coughs> breathing through my, out of my, you know, stomach via the, my stomach. And I read, you know, I looked up the breathing, um, you know, some information on it. And I remembered that I think you joined Dr. Kalina's uh, group one time, didn't you, recently? Yes, it was a few okay. months ago. A few yeah. months ago, yeah. And I remembered you. And so I'm, I'm glad he reminded me. He texted me and <laughs> gave me your information. So, so I signed up last night and, and I'm anxious to follow up. Great. I'm so glad you're here. And thank you, all of you, for joining. I wanted to ask you if you can unmute yourself while we're doing the breath session. And then I definitely want to, uh, we're going to go over three different breath modalities that we'll practice today. I want this to be more experiential. I could talk about breath work for a full weekend, but I don't want to do that today. I just want to make it more experiential for you. Mm -hmm. um, so go ahead and unmute yourself. And then at the end and somewhere in the middle, I'm going to open it up for discussions. Any questions you have, I'll stay as long as you need. Linda, do you mean mute ourselves or unmute? I you. mean, mute yourself. Okay. Thank you okay. so much. Yes. So how do, how do we do that? I don't have anything on the screen that says mute. Okay. So to your bottom left side, there's a um, button that says audio. So if you go to audio and click on it, it will allow you to unmute yourself. I mean, mute yourself. I don't have anything at the bottom. I have, it says breath body connection. And there's a bar with three little dots above it. Okay. So if you don't have anything in the background, like a dog or anything, then you're fine. Don't worry. Yeah, about no, it. But if for the moment I'm here by myself. Yeah, for the moment I'm here by myself. So, okay, okay. I'll be quiet. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> well, you don't have to be that quiet. <laughs> Linda, so, I think you can mute us too since you're the host. Oh, okay. yeah. You can mute all. I can, huh? God, I need to learn to. Uh, the, let's see if I can do this. Mute all. Audio settings. Mm. Um, you know, I'll, I'll see if I could learn that at a different time. I don't want to take up our time if it becomes a problem, but I'm going to, Percy, I'm going to ask you afterwards how to help me out with that one. Um, so today, like I said, we're going to practice three different breath modalities, um, and also experience what it's like to breathe into your diaphragm because that's when you get all the benefits of breath work, when you breathe into your diaphragm. Um, the first breath modality that we're going to practice is coherent breathing, which is basically inhaling for five counts and exhaling for five or six counts. That's five breaths per minute. That means 
if you inhale for five or six counts, exhale for five or six counts, five times, that will be one minute. Coherent breathing after that will go into humming breath and then we'll do ha breath. Now I chose these three for different purposes and I'll tell you why. Um, we'll practice belly breathing. And a lot of times when I ask my clients to breathe into their belly, what they do is they use muscles to breathe into their belly. So they either push their uh, belly out with their belly muscles or arch their back. They might bring up their shoulders. And what we're going to practice today is diaphragmatic breathing. So your diaphragm is are these two big muscles right underneath your rib cage and that's why i asked you to grab a scarf or a belt because i want you to really feel what diaphragmatic breathing is like so you can grab your scarf and place it around your diaphragm right here right underneath your chest and make it a slightly tight, not too tight, but tight enough so that when you take a breath, you could feel it uh, pressing into the scarf or whatever material you have. So when you breathe into your diaphragm, your diaphragm expands, your rib cage expands, and that automatically expands your belly. So you don't have to use muscles. And the let the more you relax your muscles and you're able to breathe deeper and more fully. Now, today, it might be your first time. I hope that you are patient with yourself. There's no perfection here. Don't judge yourself. Just observe and get curious on how you're breathing because that will propel you to do better versus like people get really in their heads. Oh, I'm not doing it right. Oh my God, all that stuff. So let all that judgment go. But coherent breathing, we'll start with that and we'll start breathing into the diaphragm. Start with three counts in, three counts out, and then go to four and four counts out, inhaling for five counts and exhaling for five counts. At any point, if some of this doesn't feel right and you feel like you're running out of breath, go back to your normal breathing and then catch up with us whenever you're ready. So it's really important for you to um, take care of yourself while we're doing this. The second uh, breath work. So I'm going to stop for one second and talk about why it's so important to breathe into the diaphragm because our vagus nerve, which is the biggest nerve in the body, and it's connected to the parasympathetic nervous system, which is relax and rest and relaxation nervous system, goes through the diaphragm. It starts from back here, goes through your facial muscles, through your throat, there's tons of nerve endings in the throat, and then it goes through your diaphragm. So when you breathe into your diaphragm, it expands and contracts, and it activates the vagus nerve so that your heart rate slows down. Your body starts to relax. One of the reasons why I want to do coherent breathing is because when we get anxious, our breath goes up to 25, 30 counts per minute. So when we get anxious, we start breathing really shallow. We just breathe into our chest and back up. So it's like, and when you can catch yourself, when you catch yourself, oh my God, I'm not breathing. I stopped breathing or I'm breathing too fast. If you slow down your breath to five breaths per minute, you reset your breath and you calm yourself down. And I like to call it, you bring yourself back to neutral. Mm -hmm. 
Because in that state of anxiety, when we're breathing 30 breaths per minute, it's really hard to make good choices. It's really hard to see reality for what it really is. But when you slow down your breath and you connect to your body and you feel more grounded, you can make better choices. So that's one of the reasons I chose coherent breathing. I love that breath work. There's two psychiatrists. I tell everyone this. They wrote a book called The Healing Power of the Breath. And these psychiatrists have a clinic on the East Coast. And they're starting to prescribe coherent breathing to their clients 20 minutes in the morning, 20 minutes in the afternoon. And after three months, it's just 20 minutes. And their clients are slowly getting off medication. So your breath is very powerful if you practice and use it properly. The second uh, breath modality that we're going to do is humming breath. And humming breath is you inhale through your nose and you hum as long as you can. And one of the reasons why humming breath is so powerful is because you're inhaling really deeply. Each time you inhale, you might want to inhale just another second longer to expand your breath capacity. And then you hum. When you hum, you're activating all the vagus nerve endings in your throat, and that also kicks in the parasympathetic nervous system. That's why in a lot of cultures, chanting is looked as, as medicine. Uh, that's why singing feels so good. So humming is extremely powerful. I use it when I'm driving and I get anxious because there's traffic. I just hum. Or anytime I feel like I'm getting anxious, I start humming and it really, really helps me. And the last one we're going to do is called ha breath. The ha breath, you breathe in through your nose and then you exhale through your mouth. So the first one, coherent breathing, is all through the nose. Second one is inhaling through the nose, humming. Third one is inhale through the nose and you push the air out pull your belly in and it's activating. You're going to get a lot of oxygen into your body. You might get tingly. You might get lightheaded. A lot of people get scared because it's uh, you're getting so much energy in your body and your body's not used to it. But just know that as soon as you stop, you'll feel good. But all that uh, lightheadedness or dizziness, whatever is going to go away. But once again, take care of yourself. If it's too much, go back to your normal breathing and catch up with us. So we'll do two or three rounds of ha, ha breath. We'll breathe in. We'll do about 15, 20 of those. And then I'm going to tell you, inhale, exhale, inhale, and hold your breath. And at that moment, you're just going to hold your breath you're going to relax all your muscles and you're going to really try to sit with the stillness. If it becomes too much, we're going to try to hold for 20, 30 seconds. If it becomes too much, then go back to your normal breath and catch up with us. But we'll do that two or three times. So having said all of that, I have also included in the chat and I also emailed you uh, some really nice music in the background. I've noticed that when I put music with the Zoom calls, my voice gets muffled and it's so loud for some people. So if you like some nice music in the background, you could start some of your uh, YouTube, choose one of these uh, Solfigio's frequency music and put it in the background. So... Does anybody have any questions before we get started? Okay, doesn't seem like anyone has any questions. So can you can you get can you can you hear me? Yes. Oh, okay. Can you please uh, define the three breaths 
um, briefly? <laughs> I just yeah. want to write them down. Yes, one of them is coherent breathing. Uh -huh. The other one is humming breath. And right. the last one is ha breath. And I will write all of that for you. I can even put it in oh. an email at the uh, oh, once okay. I send everyone the replay. Great. Thank you. Sure. So go ahead and put the belt around your rib cage and find a really comfortable place to sit either upright or lying down, propping yourself up and start to relax your body. Notice your breath. Breathing into your belly and as you exhale, relax your jaw. We hold a lot of tension in the jaw. Imagine there is a big brick in your jaw and just allow it to drop. Inhaling all the way down into the ground. And as you exhale, allow your shoulders to melt away from your ears. Let your body relax. 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 Now I want you to imagine that your throat, there's a valve in your throat and you're going to close half of that valve and sip in air through your nose, bringing that breath all the way down into your rib cage, filling up your diaphragm, pressing your rib cage into your scarf, and then exhaling, two, three. So we're going to breathe in for three counts. Inhale all the way down into your belly, filling up your diaphragm, feeling that scarf. And exhale, two, three. Sip in air through your nose, all the way in. And exhale, relaxing your shoulders, neck. Stay with your breath, breathing all the way down. And exhale, two, three. Now we're going to breathe in for four counts. So breathe in all the way down into your belly, filling up the front and back of your ribs. And take another sip in all the way into your heart, front and back. And exhale, two, three four, inhaling slowly into the, into your tailbone, take it all the way in. And as you come up, inhale a little bit more, a little bit more, filling up the front and back of your heart and your throat and exhale, two, three, Inhale, slowly getting curious, filling up your whole torso, three, four, and exhale, two, three, four. Inhale. And exhale. Go ahead and inhale and maybe this time sip in a little bit more. Inhaling four, five, and exhale two, three, 
four, five. Inhaling all the way into the ground, filling up the front and back of your torso, heart, throat, relaxing your shoulders, and exhale. Two, three, four, five. Inhale effortlessly. Exhale, relax, relax, relax. Inhale, closing that valve in your throat, sipping in air. Exhale, relax your shoulders, jaw, neck. We're going to do two more breaths here. Inhaling through your nose as fully, deeply, and effortlessly as you can. Exhale. Inhale. Feeling your scarf pressing into it, filling up. And exhale. Now go back to your normal breathing, just a few counts. Now your next inhale, inhale as fully and effortlessly as you can, filling up your belly, front and back of your heart, and hum as long as you can without force, effortlessly, just a slight hmm. And you're going to do this at your own pace, inhaling and humming. Inhale fully. With your next inhale, you can inhale just an extra second or two, expanding your lung capacity. And as you hum, exhaling just a little bit longer. Good. Continue to inhale and hum and relax your body. <laughs> Few more slow, deep breaths. Really get into it. Mm, activate all the nerve endings in your throat. Stay with it. Stay with it. 
with it. Two more breaths. Inhale. And hum. Inhale. And hum. Good. <laughs> Good. Go ahead and mute yourself. Go ahead and go back to your normal breath. Good, and now we're going to start ha breath. Now, this is a powerful breath. Um, I'd like you to stick with it. You're going to breathe in through your nose. Exhale through the mouth. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale, inhale, inhale. As you exhale, pull your belly in. Inhale, 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 inhale. Inhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, and hold your breath. Hold your breath and relax your shoulders, jaw. Relax your whole body and feel the stillness. Hold, hold, and exhale. Now go back to your normal breathing, breathing in all the way down into your diaphragm. You might want to tighten up that scarf just a little bit because as you do the ha breath for the next round, I'd like you to really breathe in and into your diaphragm and expand. And as you exhale, press that air out. Not too much, just gently. So two more rounds. We'll start with 15 or 20 counts, and then we'll hold our breath. So inhale into your rib cage. Exhale. In. Out. In. Out. In. In, 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 in. In, 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 inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, and hold your breath at the top of your inhale. Relax your body and hold your breath. Feel the stillness. Hold. 
hold for 10 more seconds, relax your body. And exhale. Good, go back to your normal breath. And we'll do that one more round. Stay with me and at the same time, take care of yourself. If you need to stop at any moment, go back to your normal breath. So in through your nose, filling up your diaphragm, pressing into that scarf. <sighs> Inhale. 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 <sighs> Inhale. Take in all your good. <sighs> Inhale. <sighs> Inhale. Inhale, 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 inhale. Inhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, fully exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, and hold it at the top of your inhale, hold your breath, relax your body, hold and Relax at the same time and notice all the sensations in your body. Hold your breath. Hold 10 more seconds. Exhale and go back to your normal breathing. And notice your body. Notice how calm it might feel. Notice if there's emotions coming up for you. And welcome them all. few more slow, deep breaths. Breathe in so much compassion and love towards yourself. Breathing into your heart. And as you exhale, relax your body few breaths, connecting your breath to your heart, holding your breath right around your heart center, inhaling and exhaling. And whenever you're ready, you could slowly open your eyes. And come back to the call
and let me know if you have any questions. Let me know what came up for you. If you, some emotions came up for you. I felt, I felt immediately afterwards a lot of gratitude towards you for providing this for me <laughs> because it's so relaxing. And it feels so relaxing. Good. So we did this for about 15 minutes and it could really change your state of being and the gratitude it not only it brings you back to calm but there there's a lot of research with a company called heart math you might have heard of them when we take deep breaths into our diaphragm into our heart and back into the brain there's a brain heart coherence that brings balance back into our body. And the more we breathe into our hearts, the more gratitude and self-compassion and self-love we feel for ourselves. Thank you for sharing. Of course, thank you. Any other questions you might have? Uh, how was it breathing into your diaphragm? Was that easy? Was that hard? When we did uh, coherent breathing, when we went up to five breaths per minute, was that difficult to breathe in for five and exhale for five? No, I feel like because we gradually went there, I, I kind of felt like each time it, I, I, it became easier and easier. Oh, it, as if, like it expanded the, um, I don't know, your lungs expanded or rip, I don't know what was happening, but it became easier. Like you're stretching it a little bit. Exactly. And that's exactly what we want to do. We want to start slow because I've noticed when I work with my clients and, you know, they want to go straight to, five breaths or six breaths per minute, their body tightens up and it just becomes harder. It contracts. So whatever you're doing, ease into it. And just remember, the more relaxed you are, the better you're going to breathe. Um, the ha breath was the most uh, challenge. It, none of it was really that challenging for me, but the ha breath a little bit because um that rhythm of breath is kind of uh it, it, it's like not normal uh for me you know what i mean so it was a little challenging but but i also was uh the one that made me feel more sensations than the other one um yeah. So that one is more dynamic, activating kind of breath work. Mm -hmm. uh, the other ones are more yogic breath work. So what I like to do, what, what I recommend um, is for all of you to start a breath practice, whether it is five minutes, whether it's 10 minutes, not only in the morning, 20 minutes would be optimal but if you don't have people say they don't have time however there's so much research that when you do breath work uh your focus your focus becomes so much better so you actually save time you actually perform better um you can get more done in a shorter amount of time so when they say they don't have time, you really do have time because you'll have more time afterwards. Uh, I like to do ha breath in the morning because it's very activating and it brings a lot of energy into your body. And I do humming breath pretty much all day. 
coherent breathing I also do in the mornings. And whenever I feel like I'm off, I slow down my breath, five okay. breaths per minute. You could do that like for three <laughs> minutes, a couple of times a, a day. So one do a breath lying down, lying down, like first thing in the morning when you wake up. If you have any kind of heart issues, it's probably best to prop yourself up. Okay. Yeah. If you have heart issues, I wouldn't lie down and do uh, breath work. I would, I usually prop myself up a little bit. You don't have to be sitting up like in a chair, but maybe a few cushions against the wall would be great. If you don't have heart issues, yes, you could lie down. So I, um, if you guys, are... I have a question. I yeah. have a question. Yeah. Um, actually, a statement. So when I held my breath for the longest time, and I noticed you said like ten more seconds, I wasn't able to do that, <laughs> and possibly because, well, I'm five foot, and you know I'm small, hundred and five pounds, and I've had uh, asthma. You know, since um, uh, since I was 24, mm -hmm. and now it's bronchiectasis, and I do take an inhaler, a steroid inhaler. Uh, right. So that could be it. Also, um, I noticed, you know, I did feel gratitude like that other uh, person, I forget her name. Yeah. And uh, not only that, I felt tingly. My body felt tingly, my, my, especially my hands and feet. So I'm not sure why. <laughs> you're getting so much carbon dioxide in your body, and that's very normal. It's very okay. normal to get tingly. Sometimes when we do really long breath sessions, like when they're an hour, sometimes people get tetany, like... Uh, it's very normal. And for a lot of people, it's frightening because they're not used to that much energy going through their body. However, mm. it is very healthy. And uh, you having asthma, I would do everything slowly, but don't give up. So oh. maybe 10 right. seconds, you could hold it for 11 seconds every week, you know, and then the week after it could be 12 seconds, you know, add a mm -hmm. second or two here or there, your lungs are muscles. So like any other muscle, uh, you know, you could build on it. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Your not, not your lungs, your diaphragm. So your diaphragm, they're muscles, so you could, you know, build them. I work with uh, some clients that have major heart issues. Um, and one thing that happens that I've noticed with them when they panic, they, when they panic, they can't get their breath. Hmm. They can't breathe deeply or they mm -hmm. stop breathing or they go into AFib. So, mm -hmm. A regular practice is very important because your body will memorize what it's like to be in this state of calm and breathing fully. So when you get to that place of, you know, asthma or any kind of, oh, I can't breathe, your body already knows it has a memory of how to get there. Just like running, you know, mm -hmm. if you are regularly running and then you have to, if someone chases you and you have to run uh, five miles, you could do it if you have practice. But if you don't have practice, your body doesn't know how to do it. Mm -hmm. Does that make sense? Yes. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Of course. Of course. Any other okay. questions? Well, thank you very much, Linda. I have to leave now. But uh, let me ask, you're going to send us information um, on on these uh, modalities and, yeah, and other information? Yes. What I could do is I'm going to send an email. I'll include the replay 
Um, I also have some of these recorded uh, breath work on on my site. I can give you free access to that if you like. I also included my email address. And if you have any questions, you want to schedule uh, an appointment in the chat. Um, I work not only with breath work, but the reason why I got into breath work, because it really helped me. Uh, I, I ruminated a lot. I had a lot of emotional uh, I worry, worry, constant worry. So breath work really helped me uh, regulate my emotions and be able to process uh, mental chatter that I had. So now I work with clients that do have a lot of anxiety and depression and worry. So if you have any, I will include all that information in the email, but I also included my information. If you have any questions, feel free to email me, schedule an appointment. I'd be more than happy to uh, share some of my offerings. Okay. Thank you very much. Thank you, thank you for joining. I am in your Thanks. knowledge. Thanks. All right. Thank you. Bye. Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. <laughs>